I think these are really practical questions that face oncologists every day. What are, what are the choices? And I think the first thing to note is it's good that we have choices. For a long time we didn't in this disease, so um, choices are positive, a positive thing. So factors that are considered are patient preferences. So for some issues of being hooked up to a port and an infusion pump and getting treatment at home isn't so attractive. For others, issues of alopecia from treatment is a, is a concern, so there may be some issues. I think comorbidities uh, are a factor in terms of selection choice, whether or not a person has peripheral neuropathy, etc. Performance status is critical. We know that that's been reproducibly shown to impact uh, on outcomes, so it has independent prognostic value, but it also predicts for treatment tolerability, uh, so that's important. I think increasingly in pancreas cancer, now that we do have choices and we have even uh, second line therapies, what is coming to mind is should we be informing our initial treatment choice by the available options in the second line, so treatment sequencing is a consideration. And you know, pertinent these, pertinent these days is uh, an issue of cost and whether that should be a factor. It's probably not something that we routinely take into consideration. but. Like every aspect of medicine, it's becoming more integrated in our thinking and, and perhaps increasingly part of the decision making, uh, both in terms of cost of drugs, but also cost of toxicity and quality of life impacts uh, and how a particular treatment uh, affects a given person. So all of those factors, I think, are um, approaches that we uh, want to be cognizant of as we select an initial choice of therapy.